Hi all, it's Terhi here again with another layout for Hipki Club. I'm playing with uh, October kits, actually with all the kits, and let's start. I choose to focus on color kit because we have this amazing stencil from Kim Watson in our kit and I wanted to play with that and watercolor pencils we had. So I started the layout with um, primering the white cardstock with clear gesso and then I draw some circles and adding modeling paste through a stencil. Uh, I'm making the modeling paste uh, patterns very dry because I'm using a lot of uh, water next so it needs to be really really dry. Uh, I'm adding this paste here and there. Um, I'm focusing on the other side of the paper, so I'm adding it there. I don't want it to be everywhere, just here and there, some, some amount of that. And once the paste is completely dry, I'm drip in dipping my pencil to the water and then drying these uh, leaves, the lines of these leaves. But I thought this wasn't the only way to, to draw with the pencils, so I sprayed some water, uh, just a regular spray bottle, and then I uh, sprayed the water, and now I'm drawing the leaves again. This is actually an easier way, because you don't need to be um, adding the water all the time, you just spray some and then draw. Of course, you can draw with, without water, but these are watercolor pencils, so of course I wanted to use them. Uh, I'm using some some different shades of uh, brown and orange because the papers I'm using today are orange. Uh, I really enjoy this uh, beachy orange color, even though it, it's really not my favorite and I wasn't expecting I, I would love this so much, but I do and it's nice to uh, learn new things of myself as well. So after I'm done with all the leaves, I'm dipping this, uh, these pencils, pencils to the water and flicking um, some drops here and there. It's a nice way to have the same color of um, drops and flicks of color that we had these uh, lines with the leaves. Anyway, I'm cutting the papers I'm going to use um, and then I'm making a, a paper cluster of them. Uh, there's no measures or anything, rules or something like that, nothing. I'm just adding and adding and using stapler, stapler, the blah, blah, stapler to get them together. Um, this is the face I can do like all day because adding more and more layers is so much fun. Then I'm adding some thread, surprise, surprise, and um, using a glue to get this paper cluster adhered. So once it's there, it's time to add some more layers and embellishments and stuff like that. I'm not a good one to, of using washi tape, but now I find a perfect way to use it, uh, the way it matches to my layout and my style. I'm just adding pieces here and there, some behind the layers and some on top of the layers, um, just some uh, tiny slices to get some, some texture and details again. Um, I really love these golden stripes of washi tapes. They give some um, deep to this uh, layout. Uh, so once I'm finished with that, I can uh, adhere my picture. I'm adding this uh, tiny slice of paper behind the picture to get a kind of a frame to the picture. And then again, some thread. Surprise! <laughs> and now the picture with 3D foam to get it popped out. 
uh, I'm adding even more paper. Uh, I found this nice flower piece of paper from our October kit, so I thought it would be nice there. And then more embellishments, this pink paisley uh, arrow. It's nice, it has some gold um, on top of it and some acetate flowers. And then I'm using this American Crafts uh, Buffy stickers as my title. Uh, I'm finishing the layout with uh, these Haiti Swap um, stickers. These were from Pocket Life kit, but I thought they would match to, the, to, to this layout as well. So that was it. Some flicks of mist and then it's done. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. Um, we'll see you next week again and have a happy scrapping. Thank you for watching and bye!